take it away. Take it, take it away. All right. So both teams have readied up, and we will be seeing this quarterfinal match between uh, these two teams on uh, CP Gullywash final. And right now we're coming up to the first round. Right now we have uh, Lulu set there on blue and uh, aftershock here on red. And right now you can see that Lulu set have gone for a door push right now, uh, holding by the big door. Although you can see that a lot of them are taking uh, a lot of damage right now. And that's uh, Kors and Jose going down, as well as Dusty. So that is no medic now for Lulisa, and no medic either for Aftershock. So uh, things are not looking that good for them, and Aftershock will have this midpoint. Yeah, I mean, Aftershock just kind of had the positioning right there. Uh, we did see Mark, who actually going up through drop down, just focusing down one of the scouts. And if it's just distracting one of the players, that is definitely what's something uh, that you want to be doing. We do actually see Mark, who walking down through Riverside, surfing a rocket. He's going to be trying to pressure on to uh, set the Dusty, sorry. Uh, but he does manage to get away right now. And it does seem like Aftershock are looking to possibly go into second right now. They did lose their soldier, but I mean, the positioning just kind of suggests that they are ready to push as soon as they need to. Kyla's just going to be peeking through big door right now. And we're just going to be seeing and waiting for some sort of pick and then maybe some sort of movement. Yeah, you can see right now that it looks like Dusty will have about a 15% uber advantage right now. People are faking ubers. You can see that uh, sticks are being put by both Devilman at Red Choke right now. So uh, we're going to be waiting for some sort of pick or something or some sort of advantage in either player damage or positioning before uh, Aftershock try and push into this. Uh, yeah, I mean, both ubers cool so I mean we are just gonna be waiting to see what happens ill dark is just gonna be taking a lot of damage from big door as well and we're just gonna be waiting and seeing what's happening uh, I mean we are just gonna be seeing uh, the other team Lutu uh, holding pretty far forward they have stickies on choke and they are looking pretty strong they may even be looking to kind of push through choke very soon yeah you can see that uh, Lutusu, <laughs> Lutusu are getting very aggressive uh, they're getting given a lot of space over there into their choke. I have a feeling, yeah, I have a feeling there are just some sticks there by choke and they're just waiting for Lutusu to push through. The rake there goes in for the bomb, gets Kyla for fun. Will he get taken down though? He only just, no, he does get taken down by some spam into choke, so it's one down for each team right now. Rome exchange for a scout and we are gonna, we will be seeing some more stalemate action. Yeah, it's kind of gonna be waiting to see what happens. Both Ubers are at 100% so it's just kind of when you get that pick and when you can use that advantage you know as I was talking about getting that uh, pick and that advantage Marku does go down for Aftershock right now and uh, that does kind of give uh, Lutu a bit of an opportunity just kind of to push a bit far forward and try to be a bit more aggressive if they got another pick they'd have been feeling very confident and trying to push through but it just kind of wasn't enough Marku's going to be able to uh, respawn very quickly and going to be trying to go through now it does seem like Lutu is going to be trying to peek through big dog. QT Rake is going to be looking to bomb in. The Uber has been popped though. Going to be trying to focus onto that medic. He does get a bit of damage onto him, but it's not going to be enough. We are going to be seeing Q2 Rake and the rest of Lutu having to fall out. Yeah, you can see right now that uh, Aftershock here are getting on top of fourth point right now. And re uh, right now it looks like a Lutu set are only two free up free up the uber is popped there in upper lobby to ensure the health of his team there from aftershock and they're already pushing into last right now go in through main Sat santu there goes down to dark and that is a slightly one-sided victory there to aftershock taking it one nil on a cp gully wash with 26 minutes left on the clock yeah, Aftershock just kind of walked onto that last point and they really just kind of did a great job of being able to get there and just really push through all the points very quickly and very nicely. We are going to be seeing the second mid fight starting up now. Jose or Josie trying to focus onto the soldier, taking out Maku very quickly, first casualty of this mid fight. But he is taking a lot of damage as well, so having to fall back a little bit. And uh, as I say that, he's going to be trying to focus onto the scout and the demo man at the same time, taking down Ill Dark. Getting uh, two nice picks, and uh, we do see Santu taking down the medic and mids right there, the demo man. So that is a very nice play by the demo man for uh, Lutu, and that's going to allow Lutu just kind of to push through, and they're probably going to be feeling very confident on pushing on to second already. Yeah, they do have a play advantage and a massive uber advantage right now. Dusty should get 100% by the time that Lutu push into last, unless something terribly wrong happens right now. You see most of Lutu's that are pushing in through the top right now, and Sephiroth 
is only on 15% uber right now. There's not much he can do in the face of this. You can see that uh, Dark there has gone pyro. The uber is popped there through Riverside. The first bomb in there is Rake. Does a lot of damage. Smacks some people in the face there. But uh, it's actually not working out because uh, Kalho is rolling out heavy right now. And uh, new two set are three down with uh, no soldiers and one of their scouts missing. And yeah. Sephiroth will have about a 30-40% uber advantage as uh, Aftershock push out onto the second point. Yeah, I'm gonna say that Ill Dark did a really good job right there because he used that Pyro, he switched to Pyro, and he managed to stop the Medic from really being any uh, being able to do anything, just cornering him. Maku getting some nice strafes away from a would have been air shot and taking down Jose right there very nicely as well. We do uh, still see Calho uh, sitting on that last point, just kind of gonna be waiting for something to come out of that. And they are playing a little bit more defensively now. And just kind of going to be waiting. I mean, Aftershock are very pressured back. They don't want to lose players. They don't want to do anything silly. And with both Ubers at equal, we do actually see Jose switching on over to the Spice. I want to see if he can get any kind of picks. Ooh, we are seeing some Spy Cam. We are seeing a lot of Spy action today. Right now, it looks like Aftershock do want to hold the lower lobby back. You've got a Scout and Soldier in there, but they are very low right now. You have 100% Uber for both teams. So we will be seeing like some sort of... a player death or something before Lutisa attempt to push into last right now. Yeah, we do see Jose actually just uh, almost going for that back cap onto last, uh, but it does get found out by the soldier, and the soldier gives up chasing him, which does allow him a little bit of room just kind of to move around and go whenever he feels ready, and with both Ubers still the same, it's just kind of a very stalemate thing, so we're going to be hoping that Jose can get one pick at least to try to do something. But as I said, that is getting pressured down by the soldier very quickly. And still, with 14 health, and he's still going. This is a very close game, I guess. I mean, I want to see Jose try to do something. And as I said, that we see Santu going down, as well as Calho. Uh, so that is a demo for Soldier Exchange right there, which is never really a good thing. And we still see Jose still roaming around, and I want to see him get some backstab right now. Yeah, you can see that someone from that's dark there switched to Sniper on defense. Uh, actually, both... Both, everyone switched back to their normal classes now. We've got, uh, apart from Jose on the other team, he does actually get spotted out and taken down. So he didn't actually do much and actually wasted some time for his team there as they're one down. And Aftershock do pop in through Riverside, uh, right there, push in through Riverside, should I say. Uh, Dusty there, uh, popping back as well. And, uh, yeah, we should be. This is surely the in favor of UTC right now. We do have a pirate on the point, but there's not much he can do. Is right now, uh, Aftershock are only two up, and Kyla for fun is the only guy up, and there's not much he can do in the face of a pyro. Yeah, we do actually see uh, Aftershock getting two, three swings onto the medic and the pyro, but it just wasn't enough right there. Uh, with that 75% uber, maybe he could have been able to grab it, but that did secure Aftershock their first round. So right now we are 1-1 and we are coming up to the third mid fight right now in Lutisat versus Aftershock in the quarterfinals of the ESA number 2 Open Cup. Uh, we are coming up and we see that uh, mid there, the double man for Aftershock does get to mid slightly faster there. He's, uh, both teams are going for the standard rollout here, however the Aftershock soldiers are getting onto mid very quickly. Uh, Cowho there does get taken down first. And uh, most of Luti Set are holding far back and playing it a bit more passively in the choke area. And because of this, they are in slightly better health. Although Dusty there is very low, 40 health, uh, has to retreat back through choke before he gets taken down. Although Aftershock are chasing him through it right now. Takes down Korf. Um, doesn't manage to get Dusty though as he manages to retreat back to last. And the point is only just being capped. Yeah, I mean, Aftershock just wasted a lot of time right there trying to chase down Dusty, but they completely forgot about capping mid, which is really just going to delay this and maybe even make them have to use this Uber for the second point. If they just kind of focus on grabbing the midpoint and then focus on going on for second, this would have been an okay battle. But we do see both of them actually exchange right there. Aftershock popping a little bit earlier than Lutu, though. And uh, Sephiroth Sefi is sat up on top of this point. And again, they really need those players on the point and really to stay on there for as long as possible because the time that they're wasting not trying to cap the point is just a lot of wasted time not doing anything. And I wish they'd just kind of try to stay on there for as long as possible. Uh, but right now, it does seem like Aftershock are going to be looking very strong, looking to peek through lobby right now. Kyla does go down though. And we are just going to be waiting for him to respawn. It's going to be respawning as the Pyro. Uh, offensive Pyro. I want to see what does come out of this and see if he can get anything done. 
Yeah, Pyro works pretty well there on Gully Wash because it's so restricted. Do we have a pause? Yeah. We have a pause. So I'm <laughs> assuming there's some sort of technical issue on someone's computer. So uh, what have you been seeing from the team so far, Hayden? I know it's only been a while. We have uh, 10 minutes gone. Yeah, I mean, it just kind of, it's really balanced. Like, I feel like it's, it's, we saw this in the last game and we're seeing it now. We just, whenever they have the advantage, they're using it. Both teams are doing this really well. And as soon as there's just a slight opportunity for the enemy team to take that advantage, they're taking it. And that's really what's benefiting them. And that's kind of what's working for both teams. Aftershock did it and so did Lutu. They've done it twice, or they've done it uh, once each. Now they're both just trying to find opportunities to go and they're doing it. The mid fights are showing to be very important as well. As soon as the team's winning that mid fight they're looking very strong and uh, they're really just being able to push straight through very quickly and that's why I'm kind of feeling that after Chuck are going to be able to take this nicely Jose switching on over to the heavy trying to de play defensive but I don't think it's going to be enough and I feel like Kyle is going to be able to do some incredible work as Pyro I, I don't know why I just want to see that yeah I I do have to agree with you it is very even between both teams although from Lutu set some of their pushes have been like sort of messy like when you think that they have the advantage, they sort of fluff it up a bit. Um, so maybe they just gotta work more on their coordination. Who do you think is uh, going huge for each team? Uh, Dark. I, I saw Dark doing some incredible scout plays and he's been doing a lot and I want to see more from him uh, in this game. He's been doing a lot. I've seen Santu get some nice picks as well. Um, and of course Kyler, because I'm a big Kyler fanboy, but nobody needs to know that. Uh, I'm looking forward to see uh, what both teams do on this last point. And uh, Ubers are about the same, so there's nothing really too one-sided about this. It's just whoever gets the pick and what happens with that pick. Um, I want to see Kyler do something, but I don't think he will really be able to do anything. I mean, Pyro... Pushing on to last may not be the best opportunity for them, but I don't know. Maybe this will possibly win them the round. I really don't know, but I'm kind of curious to see what happens. Yeah, uh, Kyla, for fun there, he did play Scout for All Tied Up back in Season 15, which uh, was Cadis' team, but it did fold. So, uh, what, what do you think is going to happen? Let's uh, do some predictions. Both medics here on 60-70% uh, Uber. Uh, what... Are you? Should we play out a scenario and see if we're right? Um, right, Kyle is gonna get Ubered. He's gonna rush in. He's gonna pin the Ubered heavy in the corner, uh, and then we're gonna be seeing uh, Dark just clean up the other five players and just destroy everything, and then they're gonna win the round. Wow, that was that that's was how very TF2 biased. works, right? That was very biased on the <laughs> scouts there, may I say? Um, I, I think that what they're going to do is they're going to pop in, hmm, like with a pyro, they want to either pop in through shutter or, I, I don't know, I think they're going to go through riverside because it is a lot closer to the point, although Lutu set, wow, what a mouthful, uh, are holding their left hand side, but I don't know, I think they're probably going to try and go through shutter, pop in their soldier first. And then switch to Pyro to uh, do some like high close range DPI, uh, DPS. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I really don't know, but uh, as I said, both of these teams are very evenly matched. So I want to see what does come out of this. Just going to be waiting for both teams to unpause. I really don't know what's happening. Let's hope I can try and find some information about that whilst we wait. And uh, you know, I'm really looking forward to this. What do you think like, the rest of the rounds are going to um, entail? What do you think is really going to come out of the rest of these uh, games? Actually, yeah, wait, let's have uh, some score predictions, shall we? Um, I I think it's going to be 3-2, no, 4-2 at halftime for Aftershock. And then, like, for the second half, they're going to bring it to either... 5-4. Yeah, no. I don't know, I think it's going to be 5-3 after halftime to Aftershock. What, what do you think? I don't know, uh, but... I don't have time to tell you my prediction. We do actually see the unpause. So broken hoods and ice skating down the stairs are all great things that we're going to be seeing now. And we're just going to be waiting for the Uber uh, ready for Aftershock. They are going to be hitting that 100%. And we're going to be seeing them skate down Riverside. And they're going to be looking very strong to push in already. 
jumping, going actually under Lake though. I'm gonna be wrapping up behind the point, and the Uber is popped, just focusing onto the heavy. Both Ubers have been exchanged though. The nice Pyro Air Blast is really just stopping this heavy from being able to aim and do anything too effective. But the Uber does last a little bit longer because Aftershock did multi a little bit, and we're gonna be seeing a heavy going down. Aftershock Sifera for a from. Uh, Sifirith getting onto the point, and that's going to be the round two aftershock. As I said earlier, um, the kind of the pushes that we've been seeing, if they win the mid fight, it seems like they're going to be able to win the rest of the round. And uh, it's kind of been playing true for the past three rounds, but I really don't know what's going to be happening after this, and I want to see what happens in this fourth mid fight. So Mia, take it away. Yeah, that was a really good pyro there by Califa Fun, uh, double reflecting that soldier there. And right now we can see that uh, Mitis there is laying down a lot of damage over by Choke right now. Uh, Rake and uh, J-Pang are the first people to go down right now, and uh, yeah, with free down for Luchi set, they're gonna have to back out of this and uh, hold their second point. Yeah, and, uh, as you can see, the chat finally catching up with what's happened. It was actually the soldier that timed out right there, uh, so we are gonna be seeing, uh, I don't really know about the Ubers, let me try to reload my HUD and see what that happens. Yeah, Dusty has about 10% advantage, but I don't think it's really gonna be too advantage full. Uh, so we are going to be seeing uh, the rest of Lutu just holding up top right now, trying to use that uh, high ground to their advantage. And I really don't know where uh, Aftershock are. It does seem like they're holding a little bit far back. I mean, maybe uh, not as forward as you'd kind of expect. I kind of want them to just kind of rush in with this and see what happens because Aftershock are looking really strong already. And uh, with that 100% Uber, I feel like they would be able to do quite a bit. Yeah, it looks like Aftershock want to push through this big door area, right? I can see the Medic Devil Man, and I think that's the pocket there, trying to lay down some spam, although it is being watched by the rumors from the other team. In on the other hand, you can see Luty set there holding their choke, laid some stickies down it, and Aftershock are holding really far back actually. They're holding all the way back nearby their choke. So uh, I think they're just gonna wait for Luty set to try and get a bit impatient and to push in and just sort of pick them off from there. Yeah, I mean, it's just kind of what happens and when it happens. Rake taking a lot of damage, getting very near to death, but he does manage to get away. But the Uber has actually been popped for Aftershock very early, but nothing came out of that at all. Just kind of standing there in choke and not knowing what to do, and that's going to force Aftershock out. That's a pretty miserable Uber right there. And that is just, as I said, going to have to force them out, and that's going to allow uh, Lutu just kind of to walk onto this point right now. Yeah, you can see that uh, with... Uh, no double man up for Lutu set. The push is going to be a bit delayed right now. As you can see, a lot of uh, Aftershock are getting really into them. Sephiroth there going down though, and Dusty going down as well. So we won't be seeing uh, medics up for each team for a while uh, to push this. So this will come down straight to DM. And in that retrospect, uh, Lutu set do manage to win that. Yeah, Aftershock, um, Sifirithuth, I can't pronounce his name, well, let's just say Aftershock's medic, uh, is going to be able to grab somebody very early to pick up and uh, really start building that very quickly, uh, but it does seem like Lutu are going to be building it a little bit quicker, and uh, so we are just going to be seeing uh, what happens now. Uh, whilst we see Aftershock still screwing this mid fight, they did a really good job of defending it and making sure that Lutu didn't grab it, which is kind of surprising. They were looking in a very bad position, but they managed to uh, save it. So let's go ahead and see what actually happens out of this. They are going to be trying to move forward over to Choke, just kind of trying to hold forward, not giving Lutu any kind of space to push out. Yeah, you can see both medics are on 80 to 90 percent Uber right now. And uh, we will be, I think we should be seeing some sort of pushing by either team. Rake there, Goat Sniper tries to get a pick, gets taken down by Marku there. Uh, Jose there going down as well, so we are seeing, uh, wow, four down right now for Lutuset. The Uber's being exchanged around that fourth point, and uh, not much is happening. I think Aftershock will be able to get this with ease right now. They just need to get someone to capture it because they're all the way into the enemy's lower lobby and they realize, okay, we didn't leave anyone to cap and because they need to be, they should have been pushing last right now already instead of uh, giving some space for uh, Lutu set to respawn, which is what they've done and now they're going to have to back out. Yeah, I mean, it was just kind of the, uh, uh, the, the idea, they did it earlier, oh, oh, they did it earlier as well, they just kind of missed and forgot about capping the midpoint and they're missing the captures and if they're not leaving scouts on that point to capture it and then moving forward, it's just going to delay it and that's, uh, I don't feel like they'd have been able to grab onto last there anyway, but I feel like they could have had a better chance 
if they tried uh, and tried capping the second point and then moving forward. But after Chuck managing to defend this point very nicely, we're going to see Mitt spamming some stickies over to Ditsy though, uh, or Dusty, sorry. Uh, but that doesn't really do anything. With about seven seconds until any of the players um, do spawn for Lutu, that is actually going to be the th uh, third round to Aftershock. Yeah, what happened there was Lutu said tried to push out onto that failed Uber. They sort of bled out one by one. And uh, then Aftershock took advantage of this. They did kind of out DM Luthu set in that respect. And they did manage to sort of wipe the team and cap last in that sort of really messy half push thing. So I was actually correct. It is actually 3 1 to. I think it was to. Um, what's, it, what's its face? Aftershock. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and the teams have switched round now, which is always good and dandy for a little bit of confusion that we always need. Uh, I'm just going to be looking at the logs right now. I mean, uh, we did actually see um, a lot of damage coming out from Kala and Maku. 5,000 damage from Kala and uh, another 5,000 from Maku. Uh, you know, be doing really well, both of them. Uh, Mates only with 3,500 damage as well. So, I mean, you just kind of saw that uh, Aftershock were just getting that damage and laying it down and doing it really effectively and that I guess what is what won them the game they really just played it really well and uh, managed to kind of keep the players alive and do the damage and that's all they needed to do. Yeah you can see Dusty there though with two more Ubers than Sephiroth and uh, only slightly more healing so that that is actually kind of unusual to see. I'm looking at the frags and you've got both soldiers from Aftershock that's and Kalho at the top there with 15 and 14 frags each. Kyla for fun soon following them with uh, 13 frags whereas uh, in the second well then afterwards it's only really Santu, Jpang and Kal who are uh, on that table who are the top three and they're only midway up. Yeah I mean they're just doing really well and then I mean both Teams, as I said, they're doing really well, but it's just kind of the advantages that they're getting upon. And I know I've said this earlier on, and I'm going to say it again. It just seems like Aftershock are finding the advantages and acting upon it, and it seems like they're winning a lot of the mid fights as well, and that's what's really securing them these rounds. They're doing really well at being able to grab this midpoint and then start moving on. And as we see the plugins being unloaded, I presume that's going to mean that both teams are going to be readying up. This is Vanilla TV. This is the ESA Cup. Aftershock versus Lutu set. My name is Hayden. Joining me today is Mia. We are on CP Gully Wash final. Mia, take it away in the second half. Ah oh, man, so we are seeing like Lutu set uh, on the red this time and Aftershock on blue. Colors have switched to avoid confusion. Uh, Jose there. First casualty going down very early in that fight there. You can see a lot of Lutu set are being pressured right now uh, as uh, a lot of damage is laid down onto them. And they're going to have to back out of this with three players off. That was a really, really quick and dominant mid fight there coming out from Aftershock Gaming as they're already pressuring onto Lutusat's second point. I can see that the Devil Man and the Medic are holding up the cup, and I have feelings that they're going to try and contest this as the spawners have only just got up, but that's a lot of capture time onto the point right there. And they're gonna have to fall out as the uh, soldiers are jumping up top and laying some damage on them. A uh, Marku there gets finished off by his own rocket. Yeah, I mean, Aftershock are doing a really great job, and as I said, they're just kind of forgetting to stay on the point, and they were just kind of rushing in, and they've stopped doing that. They've got their scouts capping the midpoint and then going on to the second, and that's really what's securing them. This, both of have actually been exchanged, though. Little bit of an uber dance right now, and with uh, Aftershock taking down Jose and Japan, uh, it does look very good for Aftershock. Kyla taking down Santu, the devil man, and it does seem like Aftershock are going to be looking to push into last right now with that small advantage that they do have, but the window is closing. They need to get in now. Rake takes down Afters. Aftershock Sephiroth is just kind of sat back, not really knowing what to do. There's a lot of spam fest on the point, and that's going to be the first round after the break, or after the half, to Aftershock, which brings it up to a 4-1 lead. Yeah, that was a really good play there by Aftershock. Uh, when the Lutusat players sort of tried to go out and get picks, they sort of bled out and the Aftershock scouts did go underneath water to catch that point. And now we're coming up to the second mid fight in the second half right now. And uh, the Lutusat have actually gone for a very aggressive push there by the chunk of the enemy team. You can however see that uh, 
um, Maku there trying to get really aggressive into the enemy medics gets a rocket on him but that's currently not enough to finish him so that is no soldiers up for aftershock right now however no devil man up for uh, Lutisat and they only he only just spawned and this midpoint is definitely gonna go to aftershock right now as Lutisat are they it? no way <laughs> <laughs> Wow, this is so messy right now, but uh, that point is very close to capping right now. The Uber is popped there, and uh, Corsair does get taken down uh, alongside Mitz, and uh, yeah, it finally does get capped after one of the messiest mid fights I've seen on Gully Wash. Yeah, Dusty just grabbing that Uber, which is just going to really allow them to re push into this. I mean, after Shot got their medic, uh, their Uber, sorry, forced out of them. Which is basically just going to allow Dusty and the rest of his team to walk onto here. Uh, keeping that Uber for quite a while until he does get forced by a soldier. And uh, as I talk about this, we actually see Kylo going for the back cap on 16 health. He's surely going to be taken out. Yes, he is by Japang's uh, pistol. But it doesn't seem like Lutu are going to be able to grab the midpoint either. They tried and they tried, but it just wasn't enough. And Aftershock is going to be able to really nicely secure this. Jose taking out uh, Marker right there and Dark taking out Karth. And uh, Jose, uh, Jose, sorry, trying to do a little bit of damage, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Dark getting away on just one health, and then oh they that Jose gets two k. <laughs> yeah, uh, Dark and Calho were both very low. He just two shots killed them both. Managed to save his point. That was really good play there by Jose. But you can see that the dumb man, that's Marku, not Mitz, there getting onto the point does finish off a lot of the catch time that was put on there by Dark. And you can see that the uh, Lutisa are holding in the lower lobby now. They're holding very aggressive, and both medics are coming up to 40% Uber right now. And I wonder if Lutisa are going to hold this last point. Uh, it looks like they're going to have to because Raker's sniper there goes down, being caught out by a scout who did manage to escape through Riverside, I believe. Uh, yeah. And uh, we do actually see Marku going down right there, and Ubers are around equal as well. About 10% advantage for Dusty, but I don't think it's really going to be too much of an advantage anyway. And we're just going to be waiting to see what happens. Marku did go down, so after Shocker, going to be waiting a little bit for this push. And of course, Lutu aren't going to be looking too strong for pushing out just yet. Uh, so I'm kind of curious to see what happens. Hopefully we'll see some maybe Spy off class. I want to see some Spy right now. <laughs> you are all up for the Spy today, aren't you? Uh, we are, yeah, we're seeing 100% Uber for both teams. I have a feeling that uh, Aftershock are gonna wanna push this sometime soon. They need a pick, however. They need a pick or they're just gonna try and risk it on pure DM alone. It looks like they are doing that as, oh my god, a great sticky trap from Santu in by the lockers there. Takes down Sephora, takes down uh, uh, Kauho as well. That was a really great work and Lutisa are definitely gonna push out on this because uh, right now, uh, Aftershock are only two up right now, and that was that was just really good by uh, Santo. I can't believe they actually did check that sticky trap location. It is so common, uh, but I guess they were getting a bit complacent with their uh, score advantage. Yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, as I was saying, Aftershock uh, and Lutu set are just kind of waiting for that advantage and then using it, and it was just kind of a sloppy mistake. And as soon as that small window of mistake is open, they act upon it, and that's just really allowing. Uh, Dusty and the rest of Lutu set are uh, just kind of to walk out of here. They still haven't used that Uber either, keeping that Uber all the way from last onto mid, and now they're probably going to have to use it onto second point, but still they're looking very confident. Uber has been popped onto second point, as I did predict, and we're going to be seeing a lot of damage coming out, but not really too many casualties. We do see the bombing soldier trying to come on, we do see the back cap on the mid, but I doubt it's really going to be able to do anything. Kyler trying to do some back cap work, but second point does get... Uh, Blocked a little bit, and Kyle is actually going to be able to stay on that point a little bit. He does get pressured down by the demo and two scouts, but that does allow them to be able to grab that second point and delay the capture of the second point. The yeah, midpoint and then the second point. Yeah, kind of they're doing well. As soon as that uh, cap there was blocked there by uh, Aftershock, uh, it looks like Lutiset just had to move the whole team back. And right now, this will mean that Sephiroth has a 100% uber advantage right now. They're going on to the last right now. Uh, Santu here is incredibly out of position, surviving very long, being chased up by Scout, being chased up by Demo. Let's get taken down after giving a pipe onto Dark there. And uh, Aftershock held onto this uber. They didn't even use it for the second point. They're going to push onto fourth of this right now. And uh, I have a feeling that loot, loot set are not in a position to contest this right now. No devil man and a soldier who is soon to about to follow him into the spawn yard. 
Oh uh, yeah, and we do actually see the 100% Uber from Aftershock, which is really what's probably secured them this last point, and the Uber has already been popped, or at least forced out of them. Santu trying to do a little bit of work onto the point, but it's not going to be enough, and he does get taken down as well as Dusty, as well as Rick. And, I presume, I don't know what's happening. Why does it have to change again? Right, we apologise, because we have a feeling that the relay has crashed yet again, so I'm sure the vanilla TV stuff will be on that. It was 4 1 to uh, Aftershock Gaming. So, yeah, I presume. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's a five, I guess it's a 5 1. The HUD has changed to like 5 1, and I guess they forgot the STV again. That's what I'm hoping. Unless it's crashed again, because we did get the score for Elemental Violence versus Saints wrong. So Elemental Violence did manage to turn that back to 5-4. But I'm, I'm going to go for the prediction again and say that after Shock 1-5-1. Or maybe they brought it back up to 4-2. Mm. 90 mm. seconds took them to push all the way. I don't know what oh, happened. Oh, we have gotten word from Mitz in a stream saying, Sorry team, it was Cal Calho's fault. Um... And yeah, apparently they did shut down the server by accident and didn't wait for the STV delay. So yeah, that's GG to Aftershock. Uh, congrats for moving on to the semi-final rounds where they'll be going against. Let's look at the brackets. I think, I believe they're going to go against Broder. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are. They will be going against Broder. And for the other semi-final, we have Zaibatsu versus... I don't know who's winning out of Epsi Mix and Web1, so if uh, someone could I'm calling Epsi Mix. tell me. You're calling Epsi Mix? Yeah. Okay. I, I think I'll call Epsi Mix as well. Although, like, it, is this the reformed Web1? Uh, back from season... Before? It's Flip, Zeus, Kuna, Drozo. Oh my god, it's it's a Web1 reunion. Exciting stuff. <laughs> And oh, whilst the, nerd we wait, me, the nerd in me is getting so excited right now. <laughs> As we do wait for uh, some updates on what's going on and the next match that we're going to be casting, we are going to take a small commercial break, so be sure to stay tuned, don't go anywhere, unless you want to release your bladder and grab a drink or maybe grab some food and sit right back down at your computer and continue watching Vanilla TV. This has been the ESA Cup. We are, as I said, we are going to be taking a small break. My name's been Hayden, joining me today has been Mia, and we will be back in a couple of minutes. <laughs> 